Christine here with another cute, quick, and simple card I made using my Cricut. This cute little worm comes from the Create a Critters 2 cartridge, and it's uh, the next page in the booklet that I'm using to do this series. So let's get started. I started out with a vanilla cardstock, and it was eight and a half by eleven. I cut it sideways at five and a half inches, folded in half to get a standard A2 size card. I just went through my scraps, so I do apologize. I'm not a hundred percent sure where all the paper comes from, but it coordinated, and I was just very happy about it. Um, this first mat is four inches by five and a quarter and I am just going to take my ATG gun and place it right in the center of my card base. Just like so. <clears throat> okay. From there I have another backing and this one has cute little hearts on it and it is a quarter inch shorter so it is three and uh, three quarters by five and again ATG gun I'm just going to use some adhesive and put that in the center of the card just like so all right and then, uh, as you notice, this was the, the base that I've used so far. I flipped it over. It's a double-sided paper. It's very, very pretty. And this one's cut a quarter inch shorter from there. So I think it's three and a half by four and three quarters. And I cut out some triangles and just added them in the four corners. And again, ETG gun. And I'm going to put that right in the middle as well. Okay. Now, just before I go to my Cricut cartridge, I'm just, I had some extra um, little gems and I am going to add them in the corner of each of the triangle. This came on a strip that I had picked up from Michaels and I don't use it very often and I trying to use it more so turn the card over and I just cut them on a bit of an angle they're already self adhesive and I have one more and oops that doesn't belong there Okay, just like so. Turn the card back over and because I'm introducing some black, I have these cute little black pearls and I'm going to add one in each of the four corners as well. There we go. I have to try to tie in the black a little bit more because the worm's eyes are black and so is the bow on her hair as well as the ink from the sentiment, but that's pretty much it. Okay, so this is the basis of the card. So next I am going to show you what I did to get the cutout. So first is this cute little apple, and I'm trying not to use any of the images moving forward from the booklet, so I thought about going backwards, and on page 37 is this cute little apple with a heart. And, you know, considering I wanted to do a worm, and I thought the apple would be very cute. So I cut it out in accessories at two and a half inches, and I cut out the heart twice, and I raised it on pop dots. And then I wanted it not to drown too much in the pattern paper I've used so far so I just fuzzy cut all the way around the image using the same pink that I had used as well as the same pink from the heart so I just did some stitching and I just used some strips right here tiny ones to add a little bit more color in the leaves and then I tried to tie in my um, pearls that I've used so far. 
So I'm just going to use my two-way glue and I'm going to stick that down. Actually, my glue's dying. Use another one here. Okay. And I'm just going to put that a little bit on an angle right in the bottom left-hand corner. Okay, so here is my cute little worm. Actually, it's going to be a she. And I wanted her to be my focal point, so I went back to the Creative Critters 2. And this is on page 39. So, you see, she's really, really cute. I could have done with lines and alternating them. So you could have had um, a two-tone worm, but I decided to leave her alone. And I just cut out this at three and a half inches. As you can see, it was probably meant to be a St. Patty's Day image, but I canned that idea and went with my own. So I cut this little worm out um, using the same cute little heart pattern that I've used previously and I stitched all the way around the outside and I added some black pearls. I raised it on foam tape or pop dots. This is the scrap, the tail end of some of the stuff I've used already. I'm trying to use it and get rid of it so that I can get a new pack. Anyways, and so this cute little worm is going to go in the bottom right hand corner, just like so. She is kind of cute. Anyways, and so I'm going to just use um, a glue dot and I'm just going to roll it in between my fingers. And I'm going to just add it to the bottom of my bow. And I'm just going to add the bow on an angle, just like so. Now, I was asked, let me see if I can get some ribbon quick, to demonstrate how I do a bow. So I'll do that really, really quick. I've done it in an earlier video. I don't know if this is the cheater method or not, but all I do is take two bunny ears, and I just flip one through the other and then it gives me two sides and then I can pull and play with both sides as I would like. So I can make it bigger or smaller and then I just play and then I cut off the edge. Very, very si simple and quick bow. Okay. Back to my card. This is pretty much it, but I did add one last additional touch, and I have a stamp set that says, Your kindness warms my heart. And so I thought the pun on the worms would be good, so I just put a little gem over the O or the A so it looks like worms to match the cute little image. And I just cut it out like a banner, and then I fussy cut again the pink so it wouldn't be drowned. I'm just going to take my ATG gun, and I'm going to add that a little bit of an angle right in the top center, just like so. And that completes my card. And uh, I do have a liner, which I'll just show you real quick, was very, very simple. I had been playing, and sometimes when you play, you get some images. So I had started out with this apple. It's cut at three and a half inches. It's a little bigger, and that's what I thought I was going to do. And then I was going to make a little bit bigger worm. And in the end, I chose this pattern. So I didn't want to waste the apple. So I just took um, the same pattern paper I've been using, some solid pink cardstock. This is a, um, a shape from Elegant Edges, and I just added a little bit of a border. I might stitch all the way around that. I added some of the reverse color to add the corners, just like the top, and then that completes my card. All I'm going to do is glue it down. So, that's it. Thanks for watching.